Hey, good afternoon guys, FPS Chasley here, how's everyone doing? Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to run SSN on a 64-bit operating system. Now, if you have Windows 7 32-bit, for whatever reason, you should be able to run SSN without having to do this method, but there doesn't seem to be a point of buying Windows 7 and 32-bit, so this is for all the 64-bit people, and uh, you know, it might just run better if you do it this way than on uh, Windows 7, I don't know. But all right, so this is uh, what I use. This is Oracle VM Virtual Box, and uh, this lets you run basically just like a, a virtual. It's like a virtual machine for uh, an operating system. So that's how this thing works. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad I found this out because otherwise I would not have been able to do SSN. So let's get started. All right, so this is what this is my operating system I currently use. So let's uh, go ahead and start a new one here. Could name this one uh, just example or whatever. Why that make that Linux? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna call this example and uh, yeah, just set it for Windows XP. That's good. Next. All right. I like to give it about a gig of RAM. I have eight gigs of RAM, but uh, SSN is really not that old of a game or not that new of a game, so you could probably use less. But I don't know. I I'm not gonna be doing anything else while I'm running the virtual box. So using up an eighth of my RAM is not a big deal. So there you go. Uh, this is what I do here for the hard drive. I use a virtual hard drive. It um, allocates as it needs it, so it, do it doesn't set off just like a 10 gig block on your hard drive, but it just allocates as necessary, so that's what I like to do. Uh, but you could, of course, just uh, use an existing one here, or uh, not even use one at all. I don't really know what the what happens if you do uh, not use a virtual hard drive, but we're not figuring that out now. All right, and then these are the options: virtual disk, virtual box disk image is the default one. That's what I use, so click on that. And uh, okay, well here you can choose dynamically allocated or fixed size. I like to use dynamically allocated, but you could do a fixed size if you wanted to. But I don't know. I'm I'm going to use this to play older games too, so might as well just uh, keep it dynamic. You can never tell how much space you're going to need. And uh, 10 gigs is pretty good example. Uh, pretty good baseline size, and you're probably not going to need much more than that. So let's go ahead and create that very good all right now what you're going to do is you're going to want to start this machine so click start here and this will bring up the uh, the machine but there's nothing installed on it right now so we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to install xp on here so what you're going to do is going to bring this up go to your desktop here and uh, this is just a backup of a uh yeah a windows xp disk that i made just because it, it installs a lot faster from a solid state hard drive than from a disk, so that's what I like to do. So yeah, use that, start it up. So now it's like turning on like a normal computer would, and here you go, Windows setup. Now I could skip this part because this is a well-documented procedure, but uh, I'm yawning. Ugh. Might as well show it, why not? It won't take that long to do. All right, so what we're gonna do is press enter, um, I build computers, so this is all like um, common, common stuff for me to do. But I'm sure a lot of you are not that literate. And that's not meant to be an insult, but I know a lot of people just aren't. So just the licensing agreement, just agree here. Uh, yeah, use this unpartitioned space as the space we made. Um, you can do a full format or a quick format. Quick's fine. It won't take any time at all, really. So yeah, it's gonna, if you never installed an operating system, this is how the XP setup would go. It's pretty archaic looking. The Windows 7 setup is a lot fancier looking. So all it does is a quick little format there. But uh, if you are doing this, if you would be installing an operating system on a computer with a fresh hard drive, you would have to format it into an NTFS file system. So that would take a while to do. But uh, right now, we, we already have a file system, so we don't need to do any kind of that business. So... What it's doing right now is copying all the files it needs from the CD, quote unquote CD, to our quote unquote hard drive, because <laughs> that's how you would do it by installing an operating system from a CD, because it would just uh, take too long to do if it was coming off the hard drive, because it's got a, it's just a lot of unzipping and uncompressing, and it's just faster if it can do that from the hard drive than from the disk. So that's all it's doing right here. All right now, all the files are copied over, so. Uh, we can do the old reboot here on the uh, virtual machine. So now it will boot back up, and uh, at this screen, don't press anything. Don't press, or you'll just go back to the whole same process. You wanted to just skip through that, 
and then it'll come right here to installing the files that are on your hard drive. So it's uh, starting up XP here. This is all straightforward procedure right here. You pretty much don't really have to do anything in this prompt. So if anything comes up that you have to take care of, I'll I'll be back for that. But otherwise, it's just a bunch of waiting. But since it is from a solid state, it will be a lot quicker. It says 39 minutes. It'll probably take five minutes, five or ten minutes. All right, so I'll meet you back if we have any uh, any prompts coming up or anything. All right, we're back. We got a, a little dialogue here. This is some um, some straightforward setup stuff. I'm sure anyone who's ever uh, just who who uses PCs could do this stuff. But I'll just show it. All right, right here. This is where you're gonna show your product key. But since I'm not gonna be keeping this install, you can just press next here, and uh, then do this. You don't have to enter in your product key right away. It'll still give you the whole 30-day activation stuff or whatever, but if you have your product key, put that in there. And, uh, yeah, this is just some more straightforward stuff, some daylight savings or whatever. Very good. And, uh, yeah, meet you back if we get some more prompts. All right, well, it looks like we got pop some more prompts right here. This is just the uh, Internet stuff. Now, I haven't been able to get Internet set up on the virtual box yet. I haven't really tried too hard to do it, but um, I know older games like Red Alert 2 um, use a specific type of networking protocol that was um, not carried over to Windows 7 from Windows XP. So if you could figure out how to do networking, you could play old multiplayer games like Red Alert 2 or something. But yeah, just do typical settings here. Hey, so it looks like the installation's done here, so... Uh, this is just some uh, some dialogue information here, just uh, to tell you, because like you can like make it so your input like only works in the virtual box, so it's just kind of to tell you that some of that stuff can uh, happen and uh, mess you up. So yeah, just click OK for this, click OK for this, and uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I think we're done. I think <laughs> I never remember the process exactly, but I do know how to do it. I just don't remember the timeline because it's not something you do that often. Oh, here we go. Nope, we're not done yet. We still got some more uh, setting up to do here. Ooh. Yeah, I never realized it had the sound to it. It's because, like, whenever you install it on your computer, you don't have any kind of drivers installed, so you can't hear any of this stuff. So I thought all this sound stuff was interesting. <laughs> uh, this doesn't really matter. Skip. Uh, remind me every few days. Alright, and this is where you enter in usernames, doesn't really matter that much. And that's it. Finito. And now we're in the operating system. <laughs> I bet some of you haven't heard that in a while. Sounds oddly familiar, doesn't it? Alright, well, just one last thing to do here. We're going to go ahead and do devices and install guest additions. Um, this is just a bunch of uh, various stuff here that will... Uh, Make it make your stuff run a lot better. I don't really. Ugh, I wish I knew more about what it means exactly, but I know it just does make it run a lot smoother and everything. So it's something you're definitely gonna want to do if you're having problems running stuff. It might be because you forgot to install guest editions. So that's a pretty straightforward install right there. Nothing to it. Yeah, just <laughs> this is what the uh, that uh the thing that asks you if programs can run thing remember this is what it looked like back in XP <laughs> looks a lot different than it does in Windows 7 yeah continue 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 all right thank you very much and then yeah you can reboot this I'll show you how quick it is it's pretty quick when you're running it on the SSD I don't think Windows XP never ever thought I could run this quickly so uh, yeah I got the old shutdown there and then the uh, the boot up here and yeah that's pretty much it quick as hell. <laughs> it's great. Alrighty then, that has been installing Windows XP on a virtual box. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this uh, helps you to get your, your virtual box up and running so you can run those older games. So in the next episode I'll show you how to install Tom Clancy SSN. So see ya and thanks for watching.